Nearly a century ago, the promise of hidden fortune lured hundreds of Kanab residents into the southern Utah wilderness. For a year and a half, they mined several tunnels for rumored gold hidden by the Aztec emperor Montezuma. Eventually, their hopes vanished. And as Fox 13's Katie Carlisle reports, soon, so too may the tunnels. Around 1914, the citizens of Kanab came down with a case of gold fever. Nearly a century later, their quest for buried treasure has been largely forgotten. And any evidence of that unusual time in Utah history also threatens to disappear. At times, the view is foreboding, but always breathtaking. They were up all over this canyon. Johnson Canyon probably looks like it did back in 1914 when Kanab residents set up shop hoping to hit the mother load. The site has some significance. The mere chance of finding Montezuma's treasure inside these tunnels captured the imagination of townspeople. Volunteers that dug would receive a percentage of the fortune. So I think some of these writings that are in here are probably a lot older than the ones that are on the outside. Residents eventually returned to Kanab empty-handed. The tunnels vanished from public attention until last year when the Bureau of Land Management put them on a list to be demolished. There's been recent initiatives that, you know, every hole that's out here, every mine that's out here should be closed up to keep the public safe from themselves. Uh, the way they were scheduled to happen would have uh, kind of destroyed some of our human history. Kane County Commissioners, the City Council, and members of Gold Rush Expeditions fought to keep the tunnels open. And this year, the BLM agreed to hold off. We are taking a closer look at them. They've been removed from the immediate list from that project temporarily. BLM spokeswoman Megan Crandall says abandoned mines pose a serious danger to the public. The BLM's message? Stay out, stay alive. If you have an old house, that's been condemned because it's unsafe. Even if no one's ever been hurt in it, are you still going to let people in or are you going to condemn it and close it? You're going to close it for their safety. There's all kinds of dangers out there on the grand staircase, but I think we need to balance the human history and the science of geology with, with the true danger. If deemed safe, county commissioners would like to turn the area into a tourist destination with kiosks to explain the historical significance. Preservationists want it a national historical site. If we can get it on the National Register, then yes, the site will be safe. Until that point, probably not. One death due to a mine-related feature on public land is one too many. The BLM has been sued in the past and lost because of injuries sustained in mines on their land. Currently, there is no timetable to decide on the fate of the Montezuma tunnels. In the newsroom, Katie Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.